What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. For breakfast, I didn't have anything. For lunch, I had Dick's Burgers, which is a burger place in Seattle. Um, and then we got ice cream. Um, and then for dinner, uh, I went home and we ordered pizza and that was very good. I hung out with my friends today. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. It's kind of an odd friend group. Um, and it's only odd because I barely hang out with them ever since high school ended, um, which sucks. I think it's because we all work and we all also go to school and we're all very busy. Um, and so we don't really have time to hang out a lot of the time, but we were able to today. Um, and I had to take, I had to take today off work, for example, to hang out. Um, but yeah, it was really wonderful. Uh, we, I'm going to say where we go because it's a, a, probably the most famous part of Seattle, aside from the Space Needle. We went to Capitol Hill, um, which is probably most famous for Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, Chaz, back in tw like June of 2020. Um, yeah, th that's where that happened, but, oh my God. And, um, this is kind of a bad faith meme, uh, but it was really crazy. Um, let me turn off desktop audio. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Um, this video with 7.1 million views, Oblivion NPC Dialogue Gaberhood. I walked down this, um, I walked down this exact crosswalk, um, which is really crazy. Um, I was like, oh, that looks like Seattle. And it was really crazy because I ended up walking down there and it was, it was really, really crazy. And I think she also has, yeah. Nah, it's fine. Um, she also has, look, she has my headphones, which is actually, I didn't even realize she has ATH M50 X's. Uh, it doesn't have the wire plugged in, but she has my headphones. Uh, this is the Gaberhood. <laughs> and then she screams. It's such a crazy video. Um, it's certainly of its time, right? Uh, but, um, yeah, it's really crazy. I walked down that street, which is just so weird. Uh, yeah, so we went there, we got Dick's Burgers there, and we got some other stuff, and it was a very fun time. We went to, um, a cool, like, comic book store, like, like, tabletop gaming store and that was really fun um we went to nordstrom and we looked at a lot of very expensive clothes um there was this balenciaga shirt i looked at i have a photo of it there's this balenciaga shirt i looked at actually i could just show you guys um and i'm really into the work that demna is doing at balenciaga i just wish their clothes weren't thousands of dollars of course right i mean I get their Yeezy collaboration stuff because it's only a hundred dollars. Yeah, this exact shirt was here. Um, and it does look like they just wrote Balenciaga on it on tape. Uh, but the really cool thing about this shirt, let's see how much this costs. Yeah, that is 1,150 Canadian dollars, which is um, 855 dollars. I think this is $10 more than it was I don't have JavaScript on. What? Perimeter X, is that it? Really? Can I really not? Ugh, okay. Um, well, yeah, it was this shirt. Um, and it does look like they just wrote Balenciaga with, like, tape. Um, but the really cool thing about this shirt is that that's actually a textile. Um, they worked on that textile to make it look exactly like tape and they sewed it into the shirt. It's like its own fabric and it feels and looks exactly like tape, but it's not. And it's very cool. Uh, here's some other shirts they did that are similar to this. Oh, this is a cool one. Uh, this is sort of like, they had a sort of presidential run sort of themed line. Um, yeah, like a political one, um, and they sort of put tape over it. I don't really know what it means, but it's cool because for real, it feels like tape. It feels like they put tape on it and it feels like you can just peel it off, but you can't cause it's in there. Um, it's just very cool. Um, if I had to compare the work that, the, like uh, the work that, uh, Balenciaga does, I would have to compare it to like food science. Um, you hear about a lot of people who make like some of the best tasting beef jerky in the world because they spend a lot of time in a lab making it. 
Um, or they make beef jerky with like four ingredients because they find out the perfect percentages of each ingredient to, to use, you know? Uh, and it, of course it's more than beef jerky, but um, you know, what may seem as simple as beef jerky uh, actually has spent hundreds of hours of time working on it. Um, and that's the same with this very silly $850 shirt that I wouldn't buy, but like the technology and the science and the work behind it is in my opinion, very cool, right? Uh, Cause you don't see things like that. It's just so crazy. Um, but yeah, I saw that shirt and that was really cool. Cause I talk about it with my friends a lot who are not interested, but I think it's cool. Um, I also saw some other Balenciaga items. Um, I saw some Montclair stuff. I saw some, uh, I saw some Jock Moose stuff, which was really cool. Um, I only know about Jock Moose from their Nike collaboration shoe. And then I watched the Bliss Foster video on Jock Moose and it was very interesting. I'm sure they've done a lot of stuff since then, but you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not an, an into Jock Moose enough to like watch their shows. Um, like I am with, with Balenciaga. Um, what else? Um, That was pretty much, I don't know, there's like some Javinci stuff. I'm really not into Javinci. Um, there's some Stone Island stuff, which is kind of cool. There was some Canada Goose stuff, but I know Canada Goose stuff and it wasn't like the big, I would only be interested in Canada Goose if it was like one of those big Arctic jackets, but they only had like rain jackets. Um, and like very, very small puff, like down jackets. Um, there was, oh, there were some really cool helmet lang pants. Um, let me see if I can bring them up. Oh, it looks like this is a very popular thing that they do. Um, It's actually cool because if you watch The Yard, I think I've seen Aiden from The Yard wear these. Um, oh, I can't find the exact pair, but it looks like a very popular thing that Helmet Line does is they make these washed jeans with just paint all over them. Um, and there is a pair of these, you know, I bet what makes, I bet they're all unique. That's probably what makes them cool, right? But, um, no, wait, these are, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what made it really cool is that on the bottom, um, they were like really puffy jeans. They almost look like jean shorts that were just gigantic and gigantic enough for them to become pants. Um, they just had strange proportions like that. And so of course that would result in some really wide legs. They had extremely like a very wide fit. Um, and so on the bottom they had um, a sort of open button and then like three little clips. And so you had three options to like make the cuff at the bottom of your pants tighter. Um, and that was just really cool. I had never seen anything like that. And it was very interesting because it like, it would result in like a very like sort of like parentheses facing toward each other, sort of uh, like poofy shape. And I think that would look really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need to know more about Helmet Lang. It's really depressing because um, you go to these you go to these stores like Nordstrom and stuff, and you there's so much denim, right? Because denim is a very popular, you know, uh, fabric textile. Um, you know, you go to Nordstrom and you see a lot of denim because it's very popular, um, and it's very depressing because you can tell that they're all made on projectile looms, which uh, objectively makes a lower quality denim. It's very sad. Um, and it just doesn't make sense. Like, um, there were some jeans there that were like $700 and they were made on projectile looms. When I have my jeans that were made in America, um, with like iron hardware and like, like they're 21 and a half ounces. They're very thick and they're made on, uh, like selvage looms. That's not the name. They're made on... shuttle looms, um, and they were like $140. And so it's like, would you rather spend $700 on um, this, th these pants that like aren't even uh, like well-made 
Or would you rather have, or would you rather spend $140 on pants that are very well made? Just very strange. Um, that is the case with a lot of luxury clothes. Um, you may be able to tell the only ones that I'm really into are ones that have super unique stuff to them. Uh, I, I think that, like, broadly, um, you know, like that Balenciaga tape shirt, right? Like, if I was just extremely rich, if I had, like, Saudi oil money, um, I would probably buy a lot of stuff like that, uh, because I just find it very cool, and it's, like, very cool how they can make fabrics like that, but otherwise, you know, what, what's, what's even the point? What, you know, what, like, it's just so silly to spend your money on, um, and it's much better to spend your money on things that aren't from, you know, uh, designer luxury brands, uh, that are usually way higher quality, uh, or just thrift, just thrift, and you're just, just, like, I don't thrift because I'm a freak and a degenerate, but, um, you know, if you do thrift, uh, that's way better than, like, ever buying new. Thrifting is always better than buying new. Uh, just, it's just so much better, and, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we also went to a store, and I got a new GameCube controller. Uh, my last one is downstairs, but it had, it was a knockoff one, and it had, um, it was cracking on the joystick. Um, but, yeah. This is what makes it really cool. What? It's clear on the other side. Um, and this is an OEM controller. Uh, they're pretty rare. Um, like you don't see them as often. Um, and it's just really, 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 really cool. Uh, I'm really happy about it. I got it for $40 and it's OEM, which I'm really happy about. Um, yeah, and it's not broken and it's OEM. My last controller was a knockoff controller. So I'll be able to play Melee a little better. And I'll probably mod it a little bit. I don't know what I'll do. I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, I'm just doing my thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I don't know. Nothing else is really going on. Um, yeah, okay. Goodbye.